everyone, welcome back to online classroom Jeku Dio. For those of you who has been following Jeku Dio throughout the whole chapter 8, I would like to say a big thank you and congratulations. We are coming to the final part of chapter 8. It is such a long chapter, isn't it? Thank you for bearing with me as we discuss our last section of chapter 8. In this section, we are going to look at the altitude versus atmospheric pressure and depth versus, uh, versus liquid pressure. How does altitude and depth uh, affect the atmospheric or the liquid pressure? What is the relationship between altitude and atmospheric pressure? On the mountain peak? and also at the foot of the mountain where do you think you will experience a higher pressure well actually as the altitude increases what does altitude means that means how high up do you go okay so as you go higher up the atmospheric pressure actually decrease why this is because of the gravitational attraction when you are closer to the earth, look at this block right here, okay? So air molecules are a lot more, you, you see a lot more air molecules here at the bottom part. When you, as you go up, the air molecules become less and less. This is because closer to the earth's surface, the air molecules are pulled together by the gravitational attraction. And as you go higher up, as you go higher in altitudes, they are less affected and air becomes less heavy, the expanse easier and hence there's lower atmospheric pressure Okay, because they have more space here There are not so many uh, air molecules here Okay, Another way for you to look at this is Let's say this is Jekutio You put another Jekutio on top of the first Jekutio and you put another Jekutio on top of the second Jekutio from this three person, A, B, C, who do you think will be stressed out the most? Of course, person number C. Because she has to endure all the weight of the person above her. Same thing with the air molecules. The higher up you go, the more relaxed you are, the lower the pressure is. So I hope that helped you to re remember it better, okay? How about in the liquid? say going down the ocean well the weight of sea water act on the body of the diver will cause the pressure that means the the deeper you go the higher the pressure because the higher is the weight of the sea water that you will experience and this is the reason why when you build a dam it is designed that the wall of the dam is a lot thicker at the bottom. Why? Because the water pressure at the bottom is a lot higher compared to the wall on top. This is so that the dam will be able to withstand the water pressure. Or else, what happens is at the base, the higher pressure of the water or a lot higher pressure of the water might crush over the dam wall. So you need to have thicker wall at the base, okay? Another example will be the divers. A diver will have to wear a very special suit in order for them to withstand high water pressure or else it can be very dangerous for them. How about submarine? Well, can you build a submarine with cheap, uh, weak material? No, you, you might be crushed under the water because of the very, very high water pressure as the submarine will go really deep underwater, right? So the body of submarine is made of very strong material that will not be crushed by high water pressure, okay? So that's all from Jekutio this time. I shall see you in the next video of a new chapter. Bye! If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.